Check out the outside of this boat, guys. These boats really have such a cool presence about them. Yeah, you definitely take notice of this boat in the marina. Guys, just when you're watching this, keep in mind, this boat isn't for everyone, but Neil didn't design this boat to be that. Yeah, this boat is definitely designed for the cruising couple. So when you see the features and design choices that may seem strange at first, when you consider the purpose that it was done for, it really does make sense. Yeah, it puts it all into place. The back salon here on these Neils is um, really unique. Like they're totally different from that on yeah. any other multi holes. You can get a sense too of how well integrated the indoor and outdoor spaces are. Yeah, Neil calls this space their cock loon because the cockpit. salon, <laughs> yeah, the cockpit flows straight into the salon. I really like these finishes back here too. If you look at these chairs, they might look pretty uncomfortable, but actually they're not. They're like, feel like they're ergonomically designed um, and they look pretty slick and modern too. Okay guys, we just wanted to show you more clearly this cock balloon. So this is Neil's trademark, this really open space between the outdoor cockpit and the indoor salon. So these doors open the full way across, so this space is really cohesive. It definitely creates a good balance between indoor and outdoor living. It, it makes it massive and very airy. As soon as you come into this main salon, you can see these giant windows. It's hard to describe the sense you get when you're on one of these boats. It's almost like, I don't know, like euphoric. Like they are so, yeah. they feel so special and different to any other multi-hull. Like it's really, really unique. They really feel like a mini modern apartment on the water. Even this big U-shaped galley feels like something you would see in an apartment. And, and there's plenty of storage space. One thing I want to point out though, under the sink here, there isn't a ton of storage. I think it's to make room for the bathroom downstairs. Not sure, but the rest of the kitchen seems to have plenty of storage. There's tons of counter space. I really think this is probably the biggest, um, the biggest galley you get on a boat yeah. of a similar size to this. Yeah, absolutely. Getting another look here at these beautiful panoramic windows. I mean, you can only imagine what it's like to be cooking in this space. This nav station has a great view and it can definitely double as a desk given how much space there is. It's definitely really big and beautiful. You can see here too this great space that they've got for a big TV or maybe a projector or something like that and also storage around that space too. You can see here that this master cabin is really unique. I mean, check out these giant windows that surround it on the side and the front of the bedroom. On the front, you're looking out onto the nav station and you also get the benefit of that panoramic window outside. And the storage here is concentrated in the front there, under the bed, and in this little side cabinet closet bit. Yeah, also I guess there's benefits to being able to monitor the nav station from your bed. Here you can see what your view from the bed is going to look like. I mean, this is really unique. I don't know another boat that has something like this. Coming down into the only full bathroom on this boat. This space, it feels like it was well made and well thought out. All these finishings, they don't feel really flashy or anything like that. Right. Not, I guess not super luxurious, but they feel like they're well made and well done. The shower is really big back here. You can see here too this natural light that comes down into this space through the skylights which are the only windows down here. There are no traditional windows on the walls. Yeah and you can see now that there's a separate head too to this bathroom which you would definitely want with this being the only full bathroom on the boat. And the finishings down here are definitely sturdy but not over the top. The one thing down here is just that I wish Neil could have incorporated some windows on the walls. Uh, the thing I guess that I think about and uh, this probably isn't something for everyone but like if you're like a woman trying to like do your makeup or something there's not really a time of the day down here where you would get like good natural light in front of that mirror to be able to do that yeah, that's true. so you would kind of like always have to have a light on so yeah and look at how easy this access is up to the helm uh it's all at a central location everything you need in one spot perfect yeah, really perfect. You can see everything is right here. All your ropes and everything that we have no idea what it all does. All the rigging, Hopefully all the lines, too. everything in one spot. And you have a really nice line of sight from up here as well. It's a really nice space to navigate from, for sure. And you can see this nice big bench here and a step up to the top of the boat. Maybe there's some room for some sun pads up there. I'm not too sure. 
Now coming around to the bow of the boat, these hatches aren't flushed, which I guess I'm surprised because I think some of the other meals do have flushed hatches. I'm not sure if it was just this boat or not. And the tramps here on these meals are really the best yeah. tramps. They are so nice. They feel so good on your feet. And they also still really like get the breeze that comes up through them. So you still feel like you're on a proper tramp. It's just really nice. Yeah, I didn't think that tramps could feel that different. <laughs> Yeah, like the, the Neil show you that there's really a difference in quality of tramp. I think these guest cabins are maybe the most controversial thing about these boats. Uh, you can see as I'm walking down into them, I've got to do a little bit of a duck walk. They've got kind of like strange steps. I'm not sure why they didn't do a ladder, but once you're down in here, it's really nice. These windows are big and beautiful and it feels like a really comfortable, cozy space. That big cabinet for storage. There's more storage under yeah, the bed. It's a pretty cozy spot like for guests uh, to stay there. Yeah, I just don't know how functional it is coming in and out um, all the time if somebody was to live down here. Again, this boat is more designed for a couple, but definitely if someone's over for a few nights or something like that, it would work. On this side, I don't think there was a toilet down here, but in the other guest hall that we're walking over to now, you'll get a look at one. And you can see here that the entry down to these guest cabins is in the exterior of the boat which, you know, again, like I said, is definitely, um, I guess, a controversial thing. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine trying to get into these maybe in bad weather or something. It might be a bit tricky, tricky, difficult, I guess. And again, that duck walk I'm doing. Um, but this one is just a mirror image of the guest cabin on the other side. And like I said, again, I think when you're down here, it actually is really nice. But I do think, uh, you know, you would only come down here if you really needed to, which might make it a bit of dead space on the boat. And you can see there that toilet, it kind of swings out um, and a sink and the mirror on the other side and me climbing back out.